Huddersfield looks a polished side and um, they've got a way of playing and um, but I looked at Leeds and you know it, it was so far off from you know what they're capable of or, or what they should be playing then you know it's um, obviously that's not good enough yeah. um, so there'll be a lot of disappointed Leeds fans I would imagine. If you're Gary Monk just now I mean uh, what, what, what are you doing for, for Blackburn? Well first of all you know he needs a performance out of him because you know I look at I look at Forest really there wasn't a performance there. There was a good performance at Sheffield Wednesday, you know, in, in general. Um, they've done okay in the cups, you know, against lower opposition. But you know, I just think that um, it, it'll want a, a, an upbeat performance that gets the crowd off, you know, off the feet and um, just to show. I mean, it, listen, it, it isn't a case of that because I'm sure it isn't that you know, just to show that this Leeds team cares, you know, that, that it, it matters that you know that they get beat because um, I look today, Leeds laid down a little bit today. You know, and, and I thought I thought Huddersfield were a good side. I think they're a, they're a decent football side. But I think you know, looking from my point of view, I think if Leeds had stepped into Huddersfield and, and and took the game to them and pushed the game on 10, 15 yards, you know, I think Huddersfield are beatable. If I'm honest. I guess as a manager, I mean, you put your ta you can accept getting beat, but if you're laying down, and that's one thing you just you just can't accept, can you? Well, it, it, and it looked that way, which is which is criminal. It can't happen. You know. Um, you, you you can you, you can get beat you know yeah. the, 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 I mean the one thing you guarantee is you're either going to win, draw or lose you're going to do one of them, um, and you can't guarantee any of them but you know that one of them's going to happen but what you can guarantee is effort yeah you know and, and desire and um, I just think there was perhaps a lack of that today and I mean it's, it's obvious that he's trying to instill a style of football is it is it time now to change that go to Plan B um, I just think it's it's come to terms with the championship. You know, no. All Gary's experience has been in the Premier League, and he did it fantastically well at Swansea. There's no two ways about it. And I think he came to prominence, particularly in his first season. Um, you know, and he's obviously an outstanding young coach, and um, and he's got, you know, he's got his sidekick with him, Pep Clotet, who's, you know, who's, who's, you know, experience in Spain and other countries as well. So they, they, they've got, they've got quality, experience as coaches and and and, and know-how. But at this division, in this division, it's it's a specialist division. You've got to have the know-how to, you know, to compete at this level, championship. Now it's not the best technically, but you've got to you've got to learn how to get results and grind results out week in week out, you know. And um, sides come. I mean, typical example when Leeds play Birmingham, you know, Leeds were the better side against Birmingham at home down here, and Birmingham mugged them. You know, they sat back, they got everybody back behind the ball. When, when Leeds had the ball, they pressured it, they got after it, they worked, they closed down. And when they got the chances to break, you know, they punished Leeds. And it's it's a facet of this division. And I just think at this moment in time, Leeds don't look like a championship side. You know, what about you? Have you seen enough there today that shows you that Huddersfield get enough about them to, to challenge at the top? I think what they've got, I think they've got um, an outstanding manager yeah. uh, and fo football brain. Um, and what he's done is... is, 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 is He's had his experimental bit last season, you know, where where he had his theory and he had his beliefs. Um, you know, I saw a lot of Huddersfield games last year, and at times they were really good, you know, with the passing type, with the passing play. And at times they got took apart, you know what I mean? And it, it, it was finding the balance, and you could see that. Um, but what he's done is he's got the people in that he wants, the players in that he wants. He's used last season for his own benefit, you know, to to, to learn about the level, the championship level. And he's basically built a side um, that's capable of winning games in the championship. Now that's fair play to the fella, you know. And what he's got is the the players have got familiarity with one another. You understand with those roles and responsibilities, you know. It got a day to there earlier about you know the subs coming on, mm -hmm. and knowing the positions, you know what I mean, and knowing where they are in the game plan. Um, and that was really apparent today. And and it, it you know, they, they they looked a little bit. I thought they came out second half and sort of took the foot off the pedal a little bit, but still had enough to put the foot back on the pedal yeah. to cause Leeds a problem. So there's definitely more to come from Huddersfield. So as regards, you know, them challenging at the top end of the table, I don't see why not.